Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tim. It's Thursday night, so you know what that means. We're here for another live stream, and we have Guild of Dungeoneering lined up for you folks. It's going to be a very fun night. I hope you're ready for more chat ventures because we have a wide list of people to use below me, and I am ready to make you all my pawns as we go through and adventure more. Uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and choose our main file here. We have 272 available glory, by the way. And, uh, yes, exactly. Time for death. Time for lots and lots and lots of death. Uh, I hope you all are ready. I hope you all brought your shovels because there are a lot of graves to be dug here. And, uh, yeah. This is, this is what we've done so far. I feel like we count our victories by the number of people that we haven't killed. In which case, we have five brand new adventurers that are ready, ready and raring to go. Um, let's see. Who do we have in our chat that we don't have uh, here on our list? We have, let's see. Harwood is here, but I do not currently see Dan. That's fine. We've retired the chump character anyway, and Dan will forever be our chump. Uh, I don't see Bruce here at the moment to be our cat burglar. So who would like to volunteer <clears throat> to be our cat burglar first? Whoever says it first... Gets the cat burglar title. Go ahead and throw it out there, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants to be the cat burglar? Who do I see? Who do I see wants the cat burglar position? I'm looking at chat. Hey. Hi, Deadshot. Welcome back. I saw Kisty first. You got it, dear. You will reclaim your title as cat burglar. Uh, let's see. I saw Noble Lance here just a couple minutes ago. Yep, Noble Lance is here, so, uh... He'll keep being the bruiser, and yeah, Awer is here as well, so we are good to go with the apprentice. Excellent. So everyone is chosen, everyone is here. Let's begin our adventuring. Uh, let's see, where to start? Well, I guess we only have one little hidey hole left, and it's, oh god, it's the realm of the Minotaur. This did not go so well for the last apprentice that we sent in here, so I'm thinking that Noble Lance as the bruiser might be the one to go with here. Oh god, this is gonna hurt so bad. Alright, Noble. Counting on you. Let's do this. So we have to escape the Minotaur as quickly as fucking possible. Because he says, Mwah! Black Knight will kill you. The last guy from the Ivory League lasted 10 seconds. <sighs> He's going to chase after us very quickly. Uh, so, I'm thinking that, let's see, what is this fountain? Fountain of Power. We need to get to that Fountain of Power in two, two turns. Uh, let's go ahead and put that out there and a gold coin. I feel like, shit. Yep, that's going to let him move. Uh, I think I might have figured out the difference between moving once and moving twice. Uh, and it all lies in whether or not the path is obscured by the fog of war. And I'm now very scared for our poor, poor bruiser. We have the, sp the spikes and our battle scars, but... Um, Hi, Chihuahua. Let's find out. I agree. The Blood God is, in fact, going to need more God, and he's probably going to get some, but not from this nasty rat. Well, he'll get the nasty rat's blood. We don't want to get ours from it. How do you like this apple? You're going to bite me for unblockable damage? We can do unblockable damage, too, sucker. Uh, we'll go ahead and block this damage, deal one back, and then that Thorns is going to come right into action. That's right, Noble. You're absolutely right. You get some higher drops now, so... That's going to make this a lot nicer once we are uh, able to get some loots going on your character. You get one, uh, one HP from that. And so here's your first loot drop. Uh, do you want the anchor, uh, which gives you the bash and the slam attack? The wooden stool, which gives you repel and bash and stupidity? Or the bandana, -na 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 -na, which gives you the repel and also shift? So here's the thing. You've already got a lot of blocking going on, but that three physical damage blocking is pretty significant, especially once we start facing the Minotaur. Now, with the Wooden Stool, you get an, an attack as well that blocks, but... 
Uh, I don't know. I'm going to leave the choice up to you, but being able to block three physical damage might keep you alive for a little bit longer. Uh. All right, Noble. You got it. Bandana. And we also get the Fountain of Power that's in this room, so our uh, unblockable attacks gain plus one power when we use them. Oh god, he is literally right on our butts. Uh, this is, this is, this is, this is bad, you guys. Like, this is, this is kind of bad, okay? Uh, shift is a quick attack that also lets you draw a card. So it's kind of really handy. And I guess we'll go ahead and put him here. We're never gonna make it to this mysterious fountain room, but I might as well go ahead and put it out. It's a good fountain. The bad news is we're gonna lose the fountain's power in this fight. Um, our unblockable attacks will gain one magic damage. My God. All right, so we'll block both of these. He'll take one damage and then an additional from our spikes. <clears throat> we'll block another damage here. So this fight with the Null is actually going a lot, just about as expected. Uh, we're able to block most of his damage and he's just gonna keep killing himself. Excellent, so that's two fights under your belt, which is slightly better than we were able to do last time. Uh, and your choices this time are the Shimitar, which will give you a slice and a dice attack. Uh, it has the Mage's Robes, which give you some magic damage, some healing slash blocking power, and then the uh, magic damage and drawing a card. And then you also have the Warhorn, which basically gives you roughly the same, except instead of uh, where, where that gives you Mind Strike, this gives you Rekindle, which also heals. So, uh, as usual, the choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. All right, Warhorn it is, Noble. And Deadshot, it's completely up to you, my man. We're going to be going for our normal, like, f three, uh, four or five hours. So, you know, we're just going to be here playing games. And in comes the Minotaur. Oh, God, this is going to be bad. All right. So we'll block his first attack straight up and then give him one spike damage. Oh, wow. And the Decay. I totally forgot about the Decay. That's awesome. Fuck you and your head blow. And now that takes him down to half health. Um, 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 suddenly I'm feeling pretty good. Shut up, Tim. God damn it, it's unblockable! Oh, I wasted an unblockable attack and he's gonna use that. Fuck! Fuck! Why did I waste it on that? Son of a bitch! I had it. I had it and I lost it. I had it, I lost it because I wasted it. If I had used a really good attack on that turn when we blocked, when he had the unblockable damage, he would have done, he, oh, I'm so mad at me right now. I'm so mad at me right now. I'm sorry, Noble. He died at the same time we did. I mean, we killed the Minotaur. Noble, you accomplished our mission. Unfortunately, you just did not live along with it. I am, um, I'm sorry. Most of that can be blamed straight to my card handling skills, or in this case, lack thereof. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're learning things. <laughs> I'm mostly sorry for your death, okay? How about that? Is that better? Um, hmm. The mime has actually gotten us through some pretty good uh, scrapes this last uh, these last couple of fights. So I'm wondering if he might have some good uh, good potential here. So Harwood, you're next up, and I wish you good luck, sir, against the Minotaur. I'm sorry, Noble. You can go back to playing Overwatch for now. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Did you hear something? Indeed, music. I heard the sound of more chat venturers dying. Uh, yes, yes, that was more blood laid out for the blood god. The Minotaur starts. Huh. And us with no rooms to build forward. Like, literally none. Literally no built rooms to build forward. What the fuck is this? This makes me upset. 
This is not, I mean, seriously, like, what am I supposed to do here? I put him here. And we'll give him an objective at least. Fuck it. You know? He's gonna start out with some stupidity, which is fine. We'll hit him with a fire blast. Thanks to the battle scars, we are a pyromaniac and we start with fire and one, which you saw there. Um, we'll hit him with an imaginary cannon. And that fire imp takes two more magical damage. He's gonna try and hit us again. But that's okay, because we're going to kill that motherfucker before he can kill you, Harwood. <sighs> All right, here's your choice. We have the newspaper hat, which uh, lets you have the plus one starting hand size in battle. You have the straight jacket, which gives you a straight up plus one to your health. And the fork, which gives you the dice attack. Um, choose wisely. I have a feeling whatever you choose is probably not going to end very well. And for that, I'm sorry. Sometimes the cards just love to fuck you. It's totally not me, I swear. Not this time, at least. If it was me that was messing you guys over, I would totally at least admit it. You want the fork car wood? All right. Fork it is. Oh, and so the Minotaur comes, but he's only going to move two spaces ahead. The bad news is we literally have nowhere to move. We're going to move right here, and that's basically going to be the end. We'll get the same basic two fights in that we were able to last turn, but... Pfft. Fuck if that's really going to help. It would be really great if I could lay down some tiles that weren't covered by the fog of war. I would actually be able to move two spaces. Hi, Jordan. Welcome. Glad you could join us. How would you like to die like all the rest? God, this is... Oh, this is going to be bad. And so we'll hit the null with the two uh, magic damage, which is kind of nice because now we can go ahead and... Oh, boy. We'll hit him for another two damage here, and since he hit himself for one, that actually will take down the knoll. Good job, Harwood. You need some blocking power. <laughs> Badly. All right, but we have some more loot choices here. You chose the fork the first time. Uh, Jordan, this game is called Guild of Dungeoneering. It's a card-based dungeon crawler where I'm having some of the chat make uh, decisions for us as they progress through dungeons that we have to make for them. And in this case, we're trying to defeat a Minotaur, but the Minotaur is very hotly on Harwood's heels, and it doesn't really look like he's going to be able to make it very long. So we'll find out. Uh, but anyway, we have the sparkly headband here for you to choose Harwood, which has Flame Lash, a uh, quick two, two magic damage dealing attack, and it also gives you Holy Seal. You have the Glyph, which gives you Mind Strike and Holy Seal. And then you have the Stiletto, which gives you a shift attack. God, they really are not giving you anything worth blocking value at all. If you would like to, we'll actually have a character coming back up here shortly. And we'll probably need to jump him straight in. So if you want to, you can jump in yourself. Speaking again to Jordan. All right, Harwood. Headband it is. Flame Lash and Holy Seal are your new powers. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, Harwood. Harwood. With seven health, we're gonna try like hell to take this thing down. Um, okay. Let's block this this uh, attack here. God, I really wish that I had um, the spikes right now. The spikes would have been really good. And we'll use our Flame Lash here to deal a quick three. And then Decay hits. And so that was a five damage attack. I'm not upset at that. We'll block one, heal one. He hits himself. Fuck. And now's when things turn bad. Hmm. If successful, 
Fuck! Why did his next attack have to be something shitty like that? Really? What a bag of dicks. Out of all of the awesome, awesome attacks that he has in his repertoire, it had to be just shitty strike. Oh, I'm so mad right now. If he had used some kind of unblockable attack, we would be able to use dice and, and, and actually kill him with it, but... As it stands now, unfortunately, the Minotaur is going to claim yet another victim. God, always bless America! I would love to, Kesty. Unfortunately, we, it's just more of a gory situation. I had a block, but I couldn't block both of the damage. Because he still would have killed me next turn. And I wouldn't have been able to return any damage, unfortunately. He would have blocked the damage that we would have used back. Or tried to deal back. And just killed us the next turn. There's not much that we could have done there. Most of the dungeons are not quite as brutal. Alright. So. As prophesized. Jordan shall be our next bruiser. And, um, our graveyard grows ever larger. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, what's going to happen when it gets so big that you can't, you can't reach it by scrolling anymore? Is it just going to zoom out and zoom out further and further? Because that would be pretty great. <sighs> We're still 200 gold short of being able to expand anything. I imagine that if we beat this... We might get a good bit closer to, to uh, beating that 200 gold deficit. All right, Jordan. You're in, buddy. This is all you. You and me together gonna beat this Minotaur. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And let's go ahead and make one room going down. And I'll put a goblin in your way. I mean, since we can only move one damn room, we might as well get as far away as we can while we can. Okay, he's going to try a head blow, but thankfully we can block that physical damage and retaliate with one of our own. And also our regular physical damage. Uh, he's going to hit with a regular strike, so why not? Blow for blow. And that's going to hurt him if he doesn't deal any damage to us. So let's go ahead and block that. Oh, that's a two right there. We'll go ahead and block one of those damages. He's going to kill himself and retaliate with one of our own. For a little bit of overkill, why the fuck not? Yeah, I know, Harwood. I'm sorry. Like, fucking RNG sometimes just comes in terribly, terribly, terribly. Huh. Interestingly enough, we lost the battle scar that made it so that... Um, we gain, what was it? Gain one, uh, one level of loot per per loot drop. So normally there would be a t level two item in here, but there's not right now because I guess this Jordan isn't the same bruiser that we had the last time. Interesting that uh, those kind of bonuses change. But anyway, I'm sorry, Jordan. So these are your three choices here of loots that you can make. Uh, we have a wooden board for you to use, which will repel three damage against that Minotaur. That may be very, very nice. The Leather Tome uh, gives you the ability to have a Fire Blast attack, which deals magic damage. And also the Mind Strike attack, which get, deals one magic damage and lets you draw a card. And then also you have the Straight Jacket, which gives you just a straight plus one health. So those are your choices, sir. The choices are yours, and yours alone. Good luck. <laughs> no, 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 Milt. I'll take the blame for that one. I totally got Noble killed. I'm sorry. That was 100% me. All right, Jordan. Wooden board it is, sir. And the Minotaur moves. One, two spaces. So it looks like we might actually get two turns out of this if we can plan properly. We'll go ahead and put one there and I think another mysterious fountain. 
because we're going to move one space hit this knoll and this fountain and we'll defeat him very handily basically by the choices that we've made th thus far we will repel this damage no sir another spike excellent and another block <laughs> and another damage of our own Jordan this is this is basically what the bruiser does he hurts a lot he's gonna make you discard a card but that doesn't really matter because the fight is over sir and now we have another choice of loot drop here these are some nice level two items for you um, we have the mages robes which give you fire blast a two magic damage dealing attack holy seal which blocks any uh, either physical or magic damage but only one damage and it heals you for that heart that it blocks and then also you have uh, the ma mind strike attack which gives you one magic damage and draw a card and then you have the sparkly headband which gives you fire blast and also that holy seal attack or the male coif which gives you two health but also two stupidity cards so those cards can get drawn into your attack deck and leave you with an attack that doesn't do anything representing stupidity so uh that's a good two health there which could come in very handy for taking down that minotaur but do you risk having those two stupidity cards in or do you get something like the mage robes or the sparkly well i guess the mage robes are basically the sparkly headband but with an additional card uh so you wouldn't really want the headband but Mel coif mage's robes your choice sir Mage's robes. You got it. And that actually gives you a good bit of buffiness here. We have the heroes unblockable attacks. Gain one magical damage next fight. Hmm. And the Minotaur is going to get you next turn. Unfortunately, there's not much that we can do about it because we can't clear the, uh, the, the fog away here, unfortunately. one thing that we can do is give you at least one more yep at least one more uh, fight underneath your belt to raise you a little bit higher and this will give us some level three drops which will be really 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 good not quite yet huntsman hopefully once we defeat this fight we'll be able to do that Okay, so we'll hit the Bandito with two damage here. He's going to try and hit us back. I'm going to block these damages this time, do a nice little spike damage. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Holy crap on a cracker. That's the big swipe damage that we didn't want to see. And we will repel all three of those damages, dealing another one. His head blow comes in, but um, guess what? We'll deal one magic damage, draw a card to uh, counterbalance the one that we blocked here. Let's use Holy Seal and heal up one. Yeah, we got repelled just in time on that one, Kisty. I agree. Um, fine. We can at least take down one physical damage that gets dealt to us there. And there's that big swipe again. Fuck! We can block one of those. Come on, Jordan. Come on, Jordan. I believe in you. We'll block this attack. And the spike damage! The spike damage kills that bandito! Good job, Jordan! Awesome! Woo! That was close. Okay. Alright, Jordan. Level 4. So you now have 8 health, which is uh, a lot better. And now you have a, a choice of helmet, uh, which we haven't really got yet. You have an offhand item. But it's a pretty nice one. The conch gives you stupidity 1. Arcane 2, which is a focus attack, uh, gives you plus one magic damage next time we do a magic. Al also, it heals you one. Also, you draw a card. You have Arcane Barrage, which is three unblockable magic damage. And then you also get Celebrate, which heals three uh, health and also draws two cards. Or you can get Feathered Cap, which gives you a uh, Rekindle and Restore, which is pretty fucking great. Rekindle does the one magic damage and heals one heart. 
Restore is the better version of that where it deals one magic damage and heals two hearts. And then you have the Bone Helmet, which is that focus attack from the conch, as well as the Arcane Barrage. Uh, if you get the conch, it will overwrite the repel that we have on your board. So the Feathered Cap and the Bone Helmet, you don't have a headpiece yet. Uh, so maybe that would be the way to go. But you have a choice between the Feathered Cap to heal you, and the, the Arcane Barrage and Focus of the Bone Helmet. I will leave it to you, sir. I will say this. The Minotaur has no way to block ma uh, magical damage. So either way, you're doing pretty good. That are three unblockable Arcane Barrage damage is not too shabby. But the ability to restore your health is pretty nice, too. Bone Helmet. All right, Jordan, Bone Helmet it is. And here he comes, the Minotaur. He has two more health than us, but also that decay. Uh, we won't worry about this, this strike damage right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and use focus first. Heal up that heart that he just did, draw an extra card, and fuck. Hmm. Um, God, if only I was able to block all of that. Okay, so this is a big choice here. Because we can block two of those damage, but we won't deal any. Or I can go ahead and use this arcane fucking barrage, which will knock him all the way down to five health. Between the decay... Oh god, it'll knock him down to four health. Between the decay damage, our three, uh, and also the plus one to magic damage, and also the one that he'll deal to himself, that is suddenly a six damage dealing attack right there. I really think I need to use the barrage, and then we can count on our heals and our blocks to counterbalance some of the major damage that's going to be coming our way. Four. Decay. He's down to four fucking health. Shit. Okay. And we'll block two of those. Take two. Uh, no! The Minotaur got us again. God damn it! The Minotaur got us again! Another fucking bruiser down! Okay. But there's no way that that would have actually been able to help us. We would have still taken that damage. The next attack would have hurt just as bad. The fact that we used that block and attack early basically would have just mean that the turn order would have been swapped. But they would have been exactly the same. <sighs> Fuck. Oh well. It's fine, Jordan. That's what happens in the game of death. All right, uh, so our next mime, I think, will be Deadshot whenever we decide to use him again. Uh, but I think, <sighs> fuck. I think that for our next adventure trying to kill this Minotaur, let's try our Cat Burglar again. We haven't given the Cat Burglar a chance. Uh, Kisty, where are you at? Are you still here? I think it's Cat Burglar time. God, how? There has to be some sort of trick that I'm not getting. Bye, Queen. Hopefully we'll see you later on. Uh, if not, have a great night at work. Think fondly of us as we keep dying over and over and over again. There has to be some sort of trick that I'm not getting to making it so that um, you can move two spaces every time, or at least plop down some tiles that aren't covered by the fog of war. Because that's the trick, is, is I mean, hell, being able to take on one more fight before we had, had uh, taken on the Minotaur with the Bruiser would have done it. 
So is there some way to to backtrack or or lead the Minotaur on a maze of sorts? I think that's the key. I can play two more cards this turn. We'll go ahead and play the rat and the, um, the rat and the gold here. So that way at least we get some sort of loots out of this fucking fight. <sighs> Kisty, you're up first, my dear. The nasty rat's gonna try and claw at your face, but it's okay. This cat has bigger claws. Um, the neurotoxin's gonna come in and make us discard one, but chances are it's gonna be one of those. Wow, really? Instead of our catnip, it's it's our only damage dealing fucking attack. <laughs> I like that, Kisty. Lead him on a wild cat chase. I like that. That's good. All right. So, Kisty, your first loot choice is available. You have the spy class, uh, spy glass, which makes all your physical attacks quick, and any quick attacks that you already have give them plus one damage. And you have the ruffled shirt, which gives you shift. Uh, the fast physical damage dealing attack and also drawing a card. The newspaper hat, which gives you wise. And the straight jacket, which gives you plus one health. Make your choice, my dear. Noble, hold on to that thought. How do you save us? I am very curious. Kisty, I am awaiting your choice. What's interesting is that this has, I guess, why does this have this kind of wooden border whereas the rest of them are a little bit nicer? I wonder if this is the extra loot choice that comes from being the cat burglar. All right, spyglass it is. No. No. You kid. So I can throw down this monster here, extend out, lay down a no, and let's see what happens. Now my question is, it would be really funny if the Minotaur gets to defeat the monsters himself and um, be able to get stronger. <coughs> <coughs> Ow. This is not going to be good. Uh, let's go ahead and, yep, deal that. Since we're quick damage, that's rather nice. And the good news is more quick damage. <laughs> Kisty's going to be able to get away with murder on this one. No, that's not the case because these also have these little wooden toggles here instead of the nice kind of met metallic or shell ones. But anyway, so, uh, Kisty... Second choice is yours, my dear. We have the sparkly headband, which gives you fire and the holy seal. You have the corset, which gives you that repel, that awesome, awesome repel, uh, and also rekindle. You have the tricorn hat, which gives you slice and dice. I don't know why. Why does a tricorn hat give you the, give the ability to slice and dice? But whatever. And then you have the shimitar, which is basically the same thing, slice and dice. Slice and dice, slice and dice, rekindle and repel. Or Fire Blast and Holy Seal. Make your choice, my dear. All right, you've got the corset, and I, I actually think that's the, very, the smartest choice you could have made. Oh God, oh. Oh. Oh, well now, doesn't that just change everything? Um. Shit, the bad news is these banditos hurt really bad. I don't know if I don't know if the cat burglar can take one down yet. It certainly did, Kisty. I think that uh thank you. Noble? Noble, I think you just saved your butt our butts. All of our butts. Just all of our butts. We'll go ahead and get rid of that swipe there. And a quick throw cats in the bandito's face makes this a whole lot nicer for Tim. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick two, and we'll take two. Bye, Huntsman. See you in a little bit. Either uh, hopefully you'll get your phone charged, or uh, you'll find a computer or something to come back to us. 
I appreciate you watching this while you have been thus far. And I guess we'll go ahead and... Yep, there we go. Two unblockable damage. And the Bandito is dead. Yeah. <laughs> I could not agree with you more, Harwood. That would have been really great about three nobles ago. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so Kisty, uh, here's your next choice. You have the red mail, which gives you uh, plus one to, to uh, health. You have the bone helmet, which you don't have a helmet yet. Gives you mind strike and also focus. Uh, and then you have the feather cap. Oh my Christ. The feather cap to stick in your hat and call it macaroni. And also the broken bottle, which does restore, slice, and shift. So take your pick, my dear. Restore, refresh, restore, slice, and shift. Now here's the thing about refresh. It says that uh, it gives you six health. What that actually means is that no matter what, your health becomes six. So if we have like 11 and we accidentally use refresh, we're down to six. So that's something that you only use when you're down to like one health. And it's a quick attack, so it gets in before any other damage. But all right, Feathered Cap, you got it, my dear. And also, a big old massive gem. Big old massive gem. Big old massive, big old massive gem. Good news is we're actually making good progress here. Let's go ahead and, um, I'm, should we put the owlbear in your way? It's only got seven health. Got eight. It's fresh. Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. Probably. That That is probably true. I don't know 100% for sure, but that is probably true. And we'll go ahead and lay down the bear owl in his way as well. Cool. So he's got it. He's gonna start off with a parry, and that's okay because we have this growth attack. It's successful, and we regain two health. Uh, the strike comes in. I think we will ignore it for now, and deal two damage. Quick. Uh, he's got unblockable there, but that's okay. Because we got quick. Excellent. Another two damage underway. And now he's actually going to start dealing plus ones here. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. Why, oh, why do I not have the ability to block magic damage? Okay, that's going to restore him two. And that's going to restore me one and take one away. Mmm. Mmm. Let's use the catnip. He's not going to get any health back from that. And we're about to have a quick attack up off of here. So guess what? That owlbear is dead, son. That owlbear is deader than dead. Good job, Kisty. Excellent. So, uh, we have another array of items here for you to choose from. We have the Bone Helmet, uh, which will give you Mind Strike and Focus, but you lose the Feathered Cap. You have the Conch, which make you lose the Spyglass, but give you Mind Strike, Focus, and Arcane Barrage. And then you have the Mace here, which will give you Slice, Bash, and Slam. And then the sword, which gives you slice and dice. So take your pick, my dear. Uh, the mace, the sword, the conch, and the bone helmet. Those are your choices. Oh, I see you're going the classic Shaira way. You got it. Lightning mace it is. Hawk, hawk girl. Uh, there's no connection there, so we can actually go ahead and do this. Should we take down another bandito? Should we get stronger? I think we should get stronger. I think we should get even stronger. Hell, there's gonna come a point before too long where we're just gonna be able to turn around and, and go straight for the Minotaur. Instead, he's gonna be running from us. Thank you so much, Noble. And let's go ahead and... That's unblockable already, so we'll go ahead and give that quick damage to... Crap, should have used it here. Um, We will go ahead and use Restore to gain back two of those damage. Thank you. And I think that we'll use a Rekindle here to gain back two of those health that we lost just there. Man, those rekindle attacks are just becoming awesome, aren't they? 
We'll go ahead and catnip up for now. He'll deal two. And with this next attack, I bandito the slay. Good job, Kisty. High five. And so now we have more loots to lie at your feet. Uh, we have another mace, which we can sell for three gold. We have the Masquerade Mask, which will replace your Feather Cap and give you Mind Strike, Holy Seal, and Smite. We have the Wolf Pelt, which will replace uh, your Corset. You'll lose Repel, but you'll get Rejuvenate, which does two magic damage and heals for three. Um, well, it doesn't heal for three. It gives you three hearts. So even if you're down one, even if you're at full health, it'll give you three hearts. And also, it gives you plus one heart. And then you also have the conch, which will replace your spyglass, but give you mind strike, focus, and arcane barrage. So, um, or you can just take the gold. It's up to you. Which would you like, my dear? Would you like to replace your corset? Would you like to replace your cap, your offhand item, or your mace? Yeah, this is actually a pretty hard decision. Uh, losing that repel is pretty big, but getting that rejuvenate back, especially with the growth, might make it worth it. We don't have a lot of other, excuse me, <coughs> a whole lot of other physical blocking um, abilities, but it's up to you. You can just take the gold. Or take the mace, which means we don't have to lay down a gold card and we immediately get three. Okay. You got it. So now we will lay down another corridor. Hmm. Oh, you meant the mace is gold. Yeah, no, sorry about that. I'm thinking it's Minotaur killing time. We have full contingency of items here, although we could have gotten a better offhand item. I didn't have another monster to put in his way, unfortunately, so this would have been the end either way. Crap. By putting that massive gem down, I sealed Kisty's fate. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, I think we were about as strong as we were going to get with Kisty anyway. Uh, most of those items were max level. With the exception of the Spyglass, it was only level 1. But really, that Spyglass is is kind of the best on, on the Cat Burglar. So here we are at 8 health versus 10. And uh, we can go ahead and block this one damage here that he's going to try and deal us. And the Decay is going to do one extra. Excellent. Um, I think that we'll go ahead and use Slice, which will make that a quick two. And then the Decay. And that actually, since his damage went out, oh my god, that's a four damage dealing attack. We're going to block three of them, bitches. One, two, three, and ouch. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, uh, god. We're going to absorb that, use the catnip. We'll quickly use refresh, which gives me up to six. God, ugh. That hurts so bad. And we'll go ahead and use this to give back those two hearts that we just lost. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. No. No. Wait, 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 wait. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That spyglass. That spyglass is going to save us. Because we're going to slam right into him with a quick three unblockable damage. And the Minotaur is defeated! The Minotaur is down! Ah! Kissy, you did it! Do you have any decency, I wonder? Like the Ivory League of Holy the crap on a cracker! Did you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder? You're just a reckless bunch of marauders. Despite your best efforts, your Dungeoneers made it out alive. So all there is to do is gather the loot that they have risked their lives to collect and flog it for a bit of gold. Good job, Kisty. 
you've gained the pyromaniac scar which means uh that for now the cat burglar starts with fire one we got 91 gold god damn it that was a surprisingly low uh uh earning round all things considered okay so let's see we have another bruiser on the field who doesn't have a name yet who don't we have a character for Uh, actually, I need to check. We have Dan, Kisty, Award, Deadshot, and Blank. So, who wants to be our next bruiser? Calling all adventurers! Calling all adventurers! Kisty wants Noble back. Okay, you got it. Noble Lance the Bruiser has returned. <laughs> Once more into the grinder he goes. God, oh lord. Yep, yep. It's expanding, all right. It's super duper expanding. But not our guild yet, because we only have 422 gold. And we need 500. We'll be able to get the Ranger next round, hopefully. And then we have a Barbarian, the Shapeshifter, and the Alchemist. To unlock as well as our new tiers of um, items here I chihuahua okay who let's what's this new trophy there's the fire em uh, the fire Lord's embers the ashes of the lich the mimics uh, splinters I don't interesting you would think there would be something of the Minotaur here but I don't see like any horns or anything sad oh well say lovey anyway what uh what adventurers do we have open to us now? all right the dark duel who wants to attempt to defeat the black knight ladies and gentlemen we have the bruiser the mime the apprentice or the cat burglar i think the one person that we haven't done anything with yet tonight is the apprentice so awer uh i'm thinking that it's your time to shine my friend it's time for the dark duel against the black knight everybody else is like not it one, two, three, not it! <laughs> Sorry, Awer. You just got thrown to the fucking wolves here. A worthy challenger at last. And the Black Knight is there. We have a duel with him in eight turns. So I guess no matter what, in eight turns, he's going to come and get us. So we have eight turns to get some sort of advantage here. Come on, good fountain. Awesome. Fountain of knowledge. We'll put a gold coin in his way. Damn, I need to be able to... Oh, well. One gold coin going into the dust isn't going to hurt us too bad. It's just worth one gold coin. But taking down this goblin is priceless. Uh, let's go ahead and start out with a Sparks. That unblockable magic damage is pretty great. If your delay gets too bad, just keep refreshing. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. He's going to go and do the head blow, which hurts but not but not as badly as what we're gonna do to him will good oh no I just realized something we really don't have the ability to deal the damage we need to yeah he's gonna hit me with another headbutt and they were dead yay another apprentice is dead we will never ever 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 have an apprentice win the day! Oh my god! It literally got two gold for walking two squares. Like, that was it. That was it. You're dead. Wow! First match against the first fucking goblin, and you're dead. Wow! Motherfucker! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Well, uh, if they're not gonna do it the easy way, we'll do this the hard way. Dark duel with the Dark Knight. <sighs> Bruiser it is. God damn it. Wow. That just hurt my feelings for you, Awer. Like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even do it. Seriously, they gave you the, the hardest level one monster they could. They gave Noble Lance two nasty rats and two fire imps. The fire imps would have been a hell of a lot better for you because at least you could have blocked some of their fucking damage. Oh my god. 
There was nothing to be done there. RNG just completely fucked you. We'll go ahead and block this one damage from the nasty rat. Fuck you and deal another one. See, like, immediately, immediately, the bruiser is doing a lot better on this map. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe, you know what? You know what, Agor? <laughs> I wouldn't feel so bad. Maybe that's the thing. Where, like, some, some rounds, some quests are just better for some classes. Because they have certain... Uh, uh, innate blocking abilities. It's, it's, it's an unfortunate, sometimes certainty of this game. All right, Noble, your choice. Your choice is up here. We have the wooden board, which will let you repel three physical damage. We have the arcane wand to give you rekindle and mind strike. And then you have the, uh, soldier's helmet, which gives you straight up plus one health. So those are your choices. Choose wisely. The arcane wand might be too, might not be too bad, but the repel the soldier's helmet helmet just to give you that defense. Okay, helmet it is. I have a feeling that uh, armoring up like the knight is probably going to be a good idea. Let's go ahead and try and scooch on up here to this chest. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? And in the meantime. Let's take on a knoll. See, this is what they gave Awer for round fucking one, was a level two creature that has a buttload of physical damage to deal. Whereas Noble is gonna be able to deal half its fucking health in one turn, and inherently the other half in two. So, you know, unfair? Maybe, maybe, probably, definitely. Definitely unfair, and I apologize. The nose gonna kill itself, and then I'm gonna kill it. Yay! All right, Noble, your choice here, sir. You have a, a crossbow for a weapon, which are two quick attacks, one that blocks magic damage and one that draws a card. You have the anchor, which has a bash and a slam attack. And then you also have the sparkly headband to give you fire blast and holy seal. Now getting the fiery head or the sparkly headband will replace your helmet, but you don't have a weapon yet. So the anchor or the crossbow is just a straight upgrade. What shall you choose, sir? Which would you like? Take your new piece of equipment and be happy. The crossbow. You've got it, sir. And also, we get to break open that gold coin. Thank you for the gold coin. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry, Noble. It's too late. We only accept the first answer around here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and plop down this little corridor. And I'm thinking that a massive gem should sit in here. And then we'll go ahead and move on up. Moving on up. I need to kind of, I need to be able to connect across to that other chest before we get to the Black Knight. That's what I need to do. And he's gonna hit us with uh, one regular physical damage, huh? That's fine. I'll hit you first. I will hit you back first. Premature retaliation, which sounds much dirtier than it is. One spike damage, yeah, and then one get out of here damage with Marshalele. We'll go ahead and block this head blow here. No, sir, not today. Spike damage. And he's gonna try and hit me, hit you with that headbutt. But uh, guess what, butthead? Quick one damage. He's gonna kill himself. And the fight is yours. All right, noble. You have another choice here. Oh, man. You have the mage's robes to give you fire blast, holy seal, and mind strike. You have the tattered mail to give you plus one health, repel, and one stupidity. And then you also have the stiletto, which will replace your uh, crossbow, but it'll keep uh, the one uh, your swift attack, but you'll uh, you'll gain slice instead. So swift and slice, repel and plus one health, or fire blast, holy seal, and mind strike. The choices are yours, sir. That's a pretty that's a pretty interesting choice. Do you take another weapon? 
Or do you take pure defensive armor, or do you take mage's robes, which could give you a lot more damage potential? That's a tough choice. Okay. Tattered mail it is. You got it. I, you know, honestly, that's the way that I would lean to. And we have a duel in five turns. But not if we can make it to the other side, Feist. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this room here. Mm. And I'm thinking that a stiletto will guard this room. And he actually loses one heart since he's inside of a uh, back door. Or not a back door, a dead end. We'll extend this corridor. And extend it further and extend it further. I might possibly be able to make it over to the other chat. I doubt it, but I might. We shall see. I'm going to destroy this bandito, however, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Fuck you, spike damage. You're not going to make me discard a card. Not today, sucker! Shift damage. I'm going to draw a card on your ass. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, shit. There's the big swipe damage, but not today. Bye, Jordan. Uh, come back anytime, man. We're here playing this. Uh, later on tonight, we'll be playing Metal Gear Rising. So, join us for that. We have Perry coming in. And I reckon... Oh, God. The bad news is he's going to have some blocking for us. Well, I guess we have to do the one unblockable. Which is going to be great. Because that kills him. Excellent. Good job, Noble. Another victory is yours, my friend. We have the power of the conch, which adds another stupidity card to your deck. It gives you Mind Strike, Focus, and Arcane Barrage. We have the Masquerade Mask, which will replace your helmet, but give you Mind Strike, Holy Seal, and Smite. And then we have the Bone Helmet, which will give you Mind Strike and Focus. So those are your choices. You want the conch, sir? Okay. Absolutely. And Jordan, tell your other streamer that I said hello. We have another thing to choose here uh, from opening the large chest. We have the scale mail, which will replace your tattered mail. You'll lose the stupidity card and gain one health. It's a straight upgrade to your tattered mail. It gives you armor one, which is plus two health and no stupidity card. Then we have the sword, which will replace your crossbow. And the mace, slice, bash, and slam, and slice and dice, respectively. So which do you choose, sir? I mean, honestly, it seems kind of obvious to me, but again, just me. Hmm, that Black Knight is coming in four turns. We're gonna need all the health that we can get. For the record, you have 10 health thus far. Okay, that scale mail brings it up to 11. How high do this, does this dial go? All the way to 11, baby. We're gonna go ahead and put a scorpion eh, all the way at the end here. Why the devil not? In turn, let's see how far we can go. One, two. Duel in two turns. I don't know that we're going to make it. I'm going to try. We'll try and make it. We'll lay down any gold that we have in the way, that's for sure. That gold card's going to go right there, and we'll end turn. I haven't built anything to him. Actually, I have no access to him right now. Is he just going to teleport straight to me? Yep. Teleport straight to me. Okay, Noble Lance. Here we go. This is it. This is for all the marbles. And we're actually... Oh, God. Hopefully, we'll be looking pretty good. He's going to go with the immediate swipe, which is going to take away three damage. I should have given you another fight there. I really should have. You're right. But that's okay, because uh, we'll be able to come in here with... Yeah, I'm thinking the interrupt. I'm thinking the interrupt's gonna be the way to go. 
because we can deal that physical damage, which he can't block. Deal that. What's mundane? Incoming magic attacks get plus one damage. That's nice. So we'll actually block this curse, which means we don't discard a card. We deal one damage there. He's going to come in with the stagger, which is unblockable. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Because of that mundane, this arcane barrage is going to deal a lot of damage. Holy hot monkey shit. And guess what? By repelling this last little strike damage, the spikes are going to kill him. The Black Knight killed him on himself. He hit himself to death. <gasps> Noble Lance wins the day. This is just really quite surprising. Finally. Noble Lance gets a victory. I think he deserves a round of applause for that, everybody. He finally got himself a win. I hope you find more danger. And we got 150 gold from that, too, which gives us our next uh, expansion on our dungeon. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, we got a new battle scar here. The Noble Lance is now hulking. Which means in the early stage, he'll ha uh, which th apparently this is a growing battle scar, so long as we don't die as noble, uh, he'll continue to get this hulking benefit, where he gets plus one now, and maybe after another couple of victories, it'll be more. So we'll return to the guild, where our newest apprentice, Maria, has decided to join us. Uh, you know what? I feel like if Dan is going to forever be our chump, then let's go ahead and give him an opportunity as another person too because that's just we can make fun of him but why not why why be rude all the time so i think that uh, our first place that we're going to have to get is obviously going to be the archery range and we'll get our brand new first ranger whom we are going to name as soon as i can rename him i guess i can't rename him wow he just starts out with ranged. That's pretty phenomenal. And he starts out with camouflage, steelhead arrow, flame arrow, pierce, and regular wooden arrows. Okay. Noted. Our first ranger. As soon as we build the archery range. Uh, let's build it... I feel like the further away from the, the graveyard, the better. The guild is looking for a swift kind of guy. Is he not here? Did the Imperial Huntsman step away for a minute? Oh, sad. I give to you. Uh, then whom should we put in the ranger position for now? Who doesn't have a class right now? Let's check. We have Kisty. We have Deadshot. Uh, Noble Lance. Dan, and well, I guess our first ranger could be Harwood. As he does not have a role at the moment. He unfortunately passed away far before his time. As the one and only, our very, very loyal, the now very late mime. I'm sorry, Harwood. It's okay. It's okay, we have other mimes at our disposal, and now you are a huntsman, you're a ranger. So how does that feel? It's gotta feel pretty good. We got new dungeons unlocked here. We have the Nosy Eye. Quest one, the Ocular Rift. We have to find our way into the Eye Beast's lair. And then we have a staring match going on in quest number two. Excellent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this will be where we pick up our dungeoneering after the break. We've hit our first little hour mark here, and when we come back, we're going to take you on some more Dungeoneering Adventures. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our nice little stable of chat venturers building. And we'll be right back in just a couple minutes to send them further down the pipeline. Don't go anywhere. You're watching this on Twitch.tv slash Tim Leftwich. My name is Tim Leftwich. We'll be right back. Bye!